So let's start with understanding of what what today we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about hydrophonics today. A lot of people know about the hydrophonics. You might have heard about it or researched about it. You might have an initial interest about the hydrophonics. Today we'll go into we will we'll deep dive into the hydrophonics topic. We'll understand about what is hydrophonics, why hydrophonics, like a lot of other things like and how, how hydrophonics is changing the modern agriculture today. So let's start now. So I welcome you all. So today's agenda is we'll talk about what hydrophonics, why hydrophonics. So we'll we'll talk about detailing about the hydrophonics. But before that, I want you to know about me. So my name is Sudhir Devkar. Uh, I studied computer engineering in Bangalore. Uh, three years back, I took a very rational decision in my life. Okay, I want to contribute into the modern agriculture, and I decided to work about you know work into agriculture spectrum or something. So I belong to the agriculture family. My fa- I belong to the farmers family. we had a like long understanding of agriculture and when i told my family that okay, i want to go into agriculture response was not that great so and i started doing research about what are the issues we are facing as you know economy and uh, as a community what are the issues we are facing so the main staggering issue which i found was we are already 7.7 billion people and in next 30 years we are expected to grow 9 billion people as a world and the worst part of this no population is we have to keep on feeding them three times a day and continuously you have to keep on feeding them and we cannot feed them rubbish we have to keep on feeding them nutritious food we have to keep on feeding them good quality food so that is a very big issue and the current situation of agriculture in india or around the world is we are limited with the land we are limited with the water resources we are limited with the labors and all on top of that climate change is not theory anymore it's reality now we are started facing climate change we are we are sometimes in india you can see there is a you know drought zone and sometimes there is a heavy rainfall so climate dependency is actually you no know, kind of killing agriculture and bits and pieces slowly 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 it's taking away the main part of agriculture like okay sustainability so the mo- in the traditional agriculture is not becoming sustainable anymore so then i started doing research about like what kind of a contribution like big universities and big companies are doing in the agriculture so i was very much impressed with the netherland i i was impressed with some countries which are doing very good job into the agriculture and what i found is there is a upcoming trend the trend is people are going vertical farming so why vertical farming i i started doing research on that so vertical farming gives us a lot of a pros over the traditional farming we can have a multifold productions because of the you no know, the matrix production we have can because we can go vertical apart from that we can save land we can save water we can save labor cost there is a lot of benefits of this so in vertical farming again i started doing research in vertical farming there are like lot of options available there is aquaponics there is hydroponics then there is a multiple aeroponics is there there is a lot of things then i started working about the commercial profit of this so i can do we can do aquaponics we can do different kind of uh, you know agriculture but it will be a like science fair project it won't be commercially you know profitable enough to pursue it as a career or pursue it as a business so the hydrophonics you no know, it it took my attention so 3 years back i started doing research on the hydrophonics like what like why hydrophonics and how it's going to change the upcoming future of a uh, you no know, modern agriculture in india so i got some facts which were like staggeringly like mind boggling facts about the hydrophonics then i started meeting people who are actually working into the hydrophonics so uh, 3 years back the landscape was not that green enough uh, there was very limited people working into the hydrophonics spectrum Oh, uh, I I met few people from Bangalore. I met few people from Hyderabad. I met few people from Pune. I met different different people from different different cities. But what exactly I found was everyone was trying to pitch their turnkey solution. So the issue of turnkey solution is the initial investment cost is too high. It makes your ROI like to get the ROI we have to wait for like six seven years. That was a very big issue with hydroponics three years back, and. that was not possible for me because if if i'm do if i'm you no know, quitting my current job which is paying me good amount of money and i'm going into the agri- uh, agriculture business and again i have to wait for 6 to 7 years for to become a profitable after investing like lakhs of rupees that is not the you no know, life equation i want to fall into so being even practically business point of view that was not life equation i want to go into okay i have an interest about the hydroponics but the if interest is not paying me good enough then what point of interest i have it's again it's a hobby project i can run a hobby project in my balcony i don't have to pursue it as a commercial so then i started doing research about like what exactly is turnkey solutions and i i was doing my research on hydrophonics simultaneously i was attending multiple classes i was talking multiple people i took one on one consultation from different different people 
I was like, I invested a lot of money into just research phase. No, just going to the different city, staying on the farm for one or two days, understanding their working mechanisms, meeting people, having courses, classes. It, I was spending money on this, but nothing concrete was coming into my hand. Nothing. There was nothing like, okay, this is something I want to pursue this. I was not on that project. So, two and a half years back, I took a very irrational decision in my life. I thought, okay, now I know most of the things about the hydrophonic. How does it work? The basic phenomenon and the basic, no, I'll say the basic methodology of a hydrophonic. How does it work? Let's build our own farm. Let's build our own project. Let's defy the turnkey solutions, whatever they have. Like that, they're, they're telling me a lot of equipment, you no, know, a lot of things like, I don't know, fertilizer diffuser and this, that, that, that. I said, okay, let's dump everything. Let's start from the scratch. Let's minimize the cost. The costing for 5,000 square feet land. I was planning to do a 5,000 square feet trial project. Uh, you can visit us at, we are located at Satara. So the thing with the 5,000 square feet land was, I was very much sure about that this is going to be failed. So we called it minus one. We named it as a P minus one because the thing is turnkey solution provider. They, they told me a lot of things about, okay, these are the basic things you need. You, you cannot succeed without this and that. So a lot of things were, no, they're constantly bugging my mind. So this was the system. P minus one, 5,000 square feet land, the hydrophonic project, which I was going to build. It was, I, I built it to failure. I built it for the failure. And I wanted to do the basic research, like how cheap we can go with this. The idea behind the setting up this project was if I can set up the project of hydroponic, which costs less than a tractor cost, then only it becomes feasible for the farmer. Then only it becomes feasible for any person who wants to you know, jump into the hydroponic business. So that was the whole idea. So we started doing paperwork. We started understanding about you no know, small, small things. So we cut a lot of crap into this. For example, the PVC pipes. You no, know, we, we directly approached manufacturers for that. So we decided to okay, how much minimize, you no know, cost mi minimization we can do. So we did a lot of a cost minimization. I couldn't uh, finish the project into 10 lakhs. I finished the project into 12 lakh 50 thousand. So that was a very big achievement for us. 5,000 square foot project in 12 lakh 50 thousand. That was mind blowing no, undercut. The companies was pitching me like 45 lakhs or 50 lakhs. Some companies also quoted me 75 lakhs. And we finished the project into 12.5 lakhs. So once we finished the project, uh, it we took a, around one and a half month to finish the project. I recorded each and everything, like what are the things I'm doing, what mistakes I'm doing, how to avoid that. It's not that I didn't need a mistake. I did a lot of mistake. I was doing this first time. That was one issue. Second issue was I was not able to get what things we required for the Purana hydrophonic project. So we did a lot of you know, frugal work. We, we did a lot of you know, small, small tweaks into the system. Just so it should work uh, perfectly. But same time, it should not be costlier. So we did a lot of tweaks and that. After that, when the production time came. So when production time came, so we failed into the first production. I'm very much upfront about this. We failed into first production. We made a lot of mistakes when it comes to fertigation. We made a lot of mistakes into the understanding basic autonomy of the plants. So all these mistakes were actually, I was, you know, I was thinking, okay, is there any build up failure or it is an operational failure? After retrospect time, I understand, okay, this is an operational failure. Whatever failures we are having right now, these are the operational failures. Then we started building software around that. Okay, how we can minimize this operational failures and how we can be the predictable, you no know, predictable series of events which can be conducted properly so we don't lose a on harvest or crop again. So we started working on that. We build our own farm management software. So after building a farm management software, what we realized is Running a hydrophonic farm is much, much more smoother when you go frugal way than when you, when you go the most scientific way. Uh, the first crop failure, uh, the first crop was a complete failure. We understood a lot of things. The second crop failure was a, like good time success. We good, we did a very good you no know, production. We got a very good harvest and we started to sell into the market.